What's up, guys? It's your boy Rated God Fresh here, and you already know I'm the new Murai God, and we are back with another video. And you already know it's your boy Nike All Star, aka Mr. Triple Talents. Who else we get? Oh, we got Sepuku. You already know, Mr. Owen Four. Gang, gang, gang. You're already <laughs> you're stupid. But anyway, we are here with a special guest today. Introduce yourself. Yeah, what's up, guys? Kill for Cause, the misfit of the DD Gods. Finally got my invite, so yeah! on the Let's go. Yes, he is here today on the channel because he played the OTS qualifier and he went four and freaking oh, bro. That's impressive, man. That that's great. And what deck did you play today, bro? Oh, you know, just a little bit of Rescue Cat, add Tri Brigade, just sprinkle it in there and win. It's easy. The purr, the purr. That is crazy. Um, question before we get into your deck profile and everything, Nike, what deck do you play? Um, I play a uh, pure zodiac. Uh, Sapuka, what deck do you play? I play no, I mean pure zodiac. Yeah, that is crazy. <laughs> we got the zodiac running wild on the channel, and it's crazy. But let's get right into the deck profile. Let's go. And here's the deck profile for our boy KFC, and um. Before we go too far into this, um, I just have a question. Um, why didn't you play this deck earlier? Oh. <laughs> That's a great question. It's because of my love of Drytrons, man. I'm a sucker for pain. Uh. I really like the strategy, but it's it's too susceptible in the meta. It, it doesn't play right. It didn't feel good. Uh, I gave up on Tri Brigade before Kit and Bear Run came out, and uh, when I finally picked it up, it was, it was all she wrote. And you never That's tried um, Numeron? <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll let you get straight into it uh yeah uh, you can start with your main deck man all right great so we got three numeron networks here uh so the, <laughs> the, the names you know you you want to see your fractal so we play three we play three nerval and we play three kit because they're all good they all do something karaz is great but i cut the third copy um i, I cut it for a tech card so i'll show you guys that card and uh gotta play the three cats the rescue cat uh, rescued the deck after the Dryden ban list cat took over, and it definitely is a Gamma and, Question. and Ash Killer. What, what rescue cats are those? What additions? Oh, they're commons. It's okay. We, we're so poor Puku, he here. got the commons. Yuck. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. Sapuku so wouldn't let me cop his, so you know. Competition amongst friends. And then uh, we got to play the hand trap lineup. This deck's got a lot of room for it, so we play Gamma, which is the hitter. It does all the lifting. Uh, two DD Crow, two Bell, and two Ash because we follow the DD God method. You, you don't play it. three hand traps because mm -hmm. you see two, and I'd rather exactly. have one of each. I like so, it. I like it. Yeah, we we sub them in and out, and it, it it gets really easy to cut the bells and the crows depending on who I'm facing. So it just gives me those uh, flex spots that I need. Copy. Then uh, we dropped the third ten key. Uh, it's actually a brick. You know, if you open if you open too many fractal ten keys, your your turn is dead. So might as well have cards that get you places, like the prosperities. Prosperity just just mm. gets you right into imperial order. Gets you right into the combo piece you're missing, and it terrifies your enemies every time. Prosperity like just works wonders. Um, and then uh, you know you got to play the called by. And then my tech cards, right? I play uh, these four cards here, which are uh, one for one. Foolish Burial and Monster Reborn, they're all limited for good reason, but they right. all work really well. Now, Aerith Rock Sunrise what? is a Monster what? Reborn with no restriction. So, uh, this actually allows you to special summon a beast monster from your deck, and it doesn't ne or from your graveyard, and it doesn't negate its effects. So, if Whoa. you... Wait, read that card. Look, Please read it. <laughs> yeah, so, target a beast monster in your graveyard, special summon that target. If you do, face up monsters your opponent controls, lose 200 attack for each beast, plant, and wing beast you control. You can only Wait, activate what? one per turn. That's it. That's insane, That's actually. pretty insane. So, I gotta look at my number on deck again. Th this, is, this is too spicy. The way that it works is, you know, Cat, Valor, Al Mirage, Ayers Rock, Cat, Cat Effect... Wow. wow! And then win, guys. We just we just broke the deck. We learned something today, guys. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Uh, I I might play more of it because uh, one worked out so well for me. Um, even if you top deck it and your graveyard's full from Revolt, uh, Ayers Rock Sunrise just gets you an extra name on board to start banishing things and put pressure on your opponent. Wow, the pressure. The house. I like it. I now, like it. 
Then the trap cards, right? We got to play reds. So the impermanence is coming in absolutely clutch. Um, it's got so many good matchups, and uh, it can't get called by the graved, and that's why we play it at three. Right. Uh, we, play, we, <laughs> we play revolt <laughs> at two. Uh, two, okay. It gives you gives you good follow up, and if you draw it, then it's free. And uh, I play the instead of the third copy, I play trap trick. That way, if I see revolt or impermanence, I can substitute trap trick for the other one if my combo gets stopped, and then extend. And then the almighty order, imperial order. Last does, card ever. Yeah, I don't like that card. So no, much heavy don't, lifting in don't the deck. Don't ever play that card on my channel. This one is the uh, the OG one. Nice. So we got I some. Also have it. I like it. We got it. some I good like cards. It. Yo, we need an ulti. <laughs> I think we, we're going to support him and upgrade his rescue cat. But <laughs> let's and, keep and grinding. 40 cards. 40 cards 40 exactly. Card clean. Nice. We'd love to see it. <laughs> nice, nice. What else you got for us? So we'll go right to the extra deck. Uh, you got to play the Tri Brigade name. So two Kit, one Bear, one Rugal, and two Shirog. I'd play seven Shirog if I had the space, but uh, two seems <laughs> to be a, a good number. Um, the blossom at, at two is good, but I don't. I don't think anyone past one bear rum right now is the right answer. Right. I mean, you're um, only running double revolt, so I, I can see why. Right. right. But but when airborne assault becomes a good card for no reason, someone's gonna read it, and then we're gonna want bear rum. But <laughs> until then. Right. Right. Then uh, the link force, right? Axis and Appalosa. Uh, a lot of people are playing Appalosa at two. I honestly might. Um, sub that out because uh the tech the tech choices you know the double lords comes up but the doom eagle i think i might sub the doom eagle for another apollosa it's just just too good doom, of a doom card eagle's and, there for the otk correct or am i wrong um yeah it, right. it can you can you can shuffle things like mobilize engage back into your opponent's deck um or like dry Trine alpha you know give right. them give them less in the graveyard to play with which, which works really well uh it's also another attribute like a win um, so it can come up with access code talker, but uh, usually you can just make the the Rugal and go into the access code. Right. So I don't really, I didn't really summon this a whole lot when I was playing the OTS tourney. Gotcha. And then uh, gotta do Omega to punish your opponents. Um, o Omega comes up so much because uh, Gamma is stopping Ash constantly with uh, Fractal activating in Grave, uh, Rescue Cat in Grave, and the uh, Tanky to Search. You just uh, gamma your opponent, and, and uh, they start losing. Okay. And then uh, the last spice card for the Zeus package, I I play Joyous Melfi. Um, Ooh. And, uh, Joyous Melfi has the ability to attack directly, and it's a 2,000 hit to your opponent. So that's why I like it more than Lyralisk, uh, the, the bird. Um, I know some people like to play like the Sky, uh, the Cavalry. But right. they have to take damage instead of giving their opponent 2,000 of damage. So I don't quite agree with that. So Joy Smelfy it is. Gotcha. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, right. All right. Let's see. Let's see the almighty side, side deck. deck. Let's see. Yeah, this, this side deck's kind of jank. I, I just, I knew, I knew uh, what everybody was playing. I kind of had a beat um, on what I thought I'd be going up against. So... Uh, some cards are missing, but I, I was siding in almost nine cards, ten cards every time I, I went second. So uh, Nibiru helps a lot. I'm scared right. of, of decks like Salomon Great and Adagnister, and a good Nibiru will teach them a lesson about uh, why they should play a more mid-range deck. So <laughs> I agree. I agree. And then uh, the anti spell gotta gotta uh, punish anybody no, if I'm allowed to go first. Either. Yeah, beat beat me once. It's a shame, but you know, awesome. So, yeah, after the anti-spell, we play three droplet. The, the droplet gets you over cards like Winda, gets you out of the ultimateness lock, uh, gets you out of the bird up lock. So droplet's pretty free inside of the tri brigade. If you have a nerve ball or a kit, then right. you just plus instantly, and they can't respond and hand trap you to get your combo going and break their board. Nice. And then uh, we got to play a lot of back row hate. So I'm playing the reboot, one lightning storm, and one duster. You know they they all do their thing in, independently, and they're they're good. If you draw them, they're blowout cards. Right. And then three twister because we hate sky striker. We just hate the sky striker. We hate it. We all and do. so we just play three twister. You know you don't and. Uh, you can use it in the mirror. You can use it against anybody who wants to play strikes and against the Salomon Great matchup. So it actually comes up a lot. So 
That's why I decided no Drolls, no Cycle Readers. Nice. I like it, nice. man. That was a nice. pretty solid deck. Quick question. Would you change anything in your list or in the side? Ooh, I mean, I might put in a second Appalosa because that did come that did come up. Uh, I really, I if I was going to play this at another event, I would have to redo the side deck and put in the Lancias, um, just because of how how much Lancia can stop Tri Brigade right. in the mirror. It's it's very important, um, and and maybe and maybe as we see PK gaining popularity again, uh, the Lancia might be the better the better side deck option. Okay. Okay. This was an amazing deck profile. I'm not going to lie. I can see why your deck pushed and beat the people that it did. Um, you did say you played Sky Striker in the last round. It was a grindy game. Um, what card can you say was the card that pushed you to the game? Uh, the, the match against Sky Striker in game two uh, went absolutely crazy for me. Um, he uh, he kind of did a Sky Striker brick, and um, he set he set two activated multi rule um, had some way of recycling engage and, and pass. Uh, so we had two two cards in hand. Um, one of them was the engage, and one was an ash. I started my my turn um, with twin twin twister anti spell a cat a gamma ash, and I top deck lightning storm. So I started by twistering his back row, getting rid of the anti spell. And uh, summon the cat, and the cat's effect, he ashed, I gammaed, and I, he realized I was going to rip Engage out of his hand, and he just scooped and gave it to me right there. It was, wow. It couldn't have played that more swimmingly. It was, it was just crazy. That, well, that was a good, that was a good feeling to know that I how, won right that's there. That's how you get it, man. That's how you get it. But, honestly, once again, thanks for being on the channel. Do you have any shout-outs? Oh, got to shout out the whole squad, all the DD gods. Woo -woo. And then, of course, there's everybody who wants to be the DD gods. Danny, DZ, I see you. We I love see you. you. We love you, Danny. Danny. Hey, hey. Oh, shout out, Danny. <laughs> shout out, Danny. Shout out, Danny. Shout out, Danny. Great. Solid player ever. And, of Fast. course, my, IR, my IRL buddy, Kevin Gutierrez, giving me the easy win against Virtual World in the first round. You know, you hate to do it to a homie, but when when you draw Imperial Order, you flip Imperial Order, you know? That's it. Well, all I have to say left is make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the freaking channel.